What's going on guys? I'm here with the Torment and uh, I just programmed this thing too. So this program card is very easy to use. Very good. Very good programming card. It's really simple to hook up. So how you would connect this is just simply, I'll turn this off. Let me turn this transmitter off too. So you just get this. You can see the negative and positive. Probably not you guys can't, but when you buy it, you'll have positive and negative on this side. So you just go ahead and pull this right out of your ESC. I mean, right out of your receiver. Plug it in right here with the white going this way. And it is now connected. Turn it on. So there it is, guys. The card is now activated you can see the the values here so let's go ahead and see if i can get this better for you guys so you guys can see the values might be a little grainy guys because i'm really boosting his image up so here's the card itself and we got this right here so we got number one which is right here here goes number one. Right there, operation, I think it is. So these are your items, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it goes all the way to 17, guys. And these are all the values that it, it is, con these are all the values that it's running stock. So we had uh, maximum forward strength was only at 7% and back strength. Uh, we had the start mode itself, which is over here. Where is it? Start mode was on number four, but it wasn't even on number four. It was actually on number three. So it was on number three. So I had to boost that all the way up to like uh, 20%. So there's that. Um, the low voltage, I tried screwing around with the low voltage and I tried to put it as high as it could be. And uh, what happened was, is it just turned off the battery as soon as I would use it it would just turn it off so uh, it would just turn off right away guys so that was not any good so I had to put it back to the way it was but these are all its uh, values here very simple and then you just go through here so you look for number one and number uh, one is right here and you can see it's on number four the value but this thing seems to be yeah there it is see so number one is the item, number four is the value. So that's, that's if you just go through all the items here, you can see the item numbers here. You can go through number two. You can see I, uh, number two is set at um, number one. Uh, number three is set at number eight. And number three is uh, start mode. So before it was in number three, and now I bumped that all the way up to number eight. So you guys get it, you just go through all of these and then when it starts getting to double digits, those two lights mean 12. So that means 12 and the numeric value, 12, 13 will be one, two, and three. That's 13 plus the value. Then we got 14 and that's the value eight. Then we got 15 and this is the value number two, 16, number seven, and 17 is on number four. And number 18 is on number one. So this thing's got quite a few. Uh, uh, it's got quite a few things to go through here. So it's got quite a few. Um, as soon as you want to change, if you wanted to change one, like say I wanted to change number one to a different value, I would just press the value and it would start going to number five further down the line. And then I would just press OK, and I'm done. And if I screwed up everything, I just press Reset, and it resets everything. So this is pretty good, guys. Really good ESC. Uh, really easy, and uh, it's like idiot proof, so it's not going to be tough to mess around with, guys. Really simple. Put that back in here, and I got to screw all this back down again. But, uh... Really simple to use, and that's what you have to do for this ESC here. You know, when I went on the when I, I purchased this from Amazon for 40 bucks, guys. This is a $40, $41 upgrade, 
And when I purchased it, I seen so many bad reviews for this motor. There were just tons of, uh, for this combo kit, just tons of bad reviews. And that is because the start mode, it was so low that if you have it in the grass and you just come to a stop, it's not going to want to start because it's too low. The start mode is just too, too low. So it had that. Some people have their, um, their forward speed set to like number two so it doesn't even go fast but you you really have to get the card guys you have to get this card you should already have one of these if you're screwing around with brushless motors so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on i'll turn the transmitter on turn the esc on okay so now we'll go ahead and lift this up do a little wheel wheel speed here. So now it's ready to go, guys. I'm really happy with the results now. So tomorrow, speed test. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll be back with some more videos. And uh Thanks a lot, guys, for uh, even watching my videos lately. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't like bugging people and asking them to subscribe, so you're not going to get that here. I'm not going to be bugging you. But if you would like to subscribe, that's great. That's great. So thanks a lot, guys, for, for really watching the videos. So I'll see you guys back with a speed run for this one. Thanks a lot.